Today's money-saving tips are brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. Hello, my budget-conscious cruise friends. So, we've talked about how to save money when booking a cruise, and since it's such a big topic, we did a completely separate episode on how to save money on drinks. You can find links to those episodes in the description below. Today, we're going to talk in more general terms about how you can save money once you are on the ship. Some or even all of these may seem like common sense, but the idea here is to get you thinking about these things before you cruise so they're not overlooked when the shipboard fun begins. We touched on this first one in our saving money when booking episode, and it technically happens before you board, but it's worth diving a little deeper. You don't have to go it alone on your quest to save money. Talk to your travel agent. More specifically, ask your agent about onboard credit. Travel agents often know about deals that you and I would have trouble finding. In many cases, they can put together packages that include a little bit of shipboard credit. It's a great way to trim just a little bit more off the bottom line once you're on board. Don't overlook your travel agent as a tremendous information resource. On the topic of great resources, once you're on the ship, your ship's daily newsletter is a terrific source of information about potential money-saving opportunities. You'll want to scan it daily for deals on specialty restaurants, spa discounts, and activities. A careful eye can often uncover hidden money-saving gems like food and wine tasting events. Yum. <laughs> now, this one might be painful for some, but if you're serious about saving some cruise scratch, skip the Wi-Fi. Cruise Line internet access is a notorious drain on the cruise budget. If it's not absolutely necessary, hold off until you're in port and look for some free Wi-Fi. Crew members can be a great resource for the inside scoop on the best free hotspots. Along those lines, you can skip the ship's photo packages as well. Once you're on board, the ship's photographers will seem like your own personal paparazzi, popping up everywhere trying to get that perfect shot. Kidding aside, they do a great job and we've got some terrific photos from cruises, but the photo packages can be costly and it adds up quickly. If you wanna save some money, just take your own photos. Digital media is cheap these days and cameras keep getting better and better. We typically take hundreds, if not thousands of photos on a cruise. The more we take, the better the odds are that at least we'll get a few keepers. Oh, and it's not difficult to find someone willing to snap a couple of photos of you and your entourage. Just ask. Here's one we personally struggle with. In port, it's really tempting for us to find a cool restaurant and enjoy some drinks and local cuisine. We love it, but the truth is, it's an unnecessary expense. In most cases, it's just more frugal to head back to the ship's dining room or buffet. If you're on a port intensive cruise, eating on the ship rather than in port can really help you keep your costs down. Speaking of port, port days are a great time to book spa visits and other ship activities. You will rarely find spa discounts on sea days when everyone is on the ship and eager to book those types of treatments. Port days are always your best bet. Trust me, look for the deals in your cruise planner. By the way, you should always look into booking extras like restaurants, drink packages, and internet packages before you sail. Cruise lines want you to reserve these things in advance and will often offer discounts to encourage early booking. Trust me, don't wait on things like drink packages, stuff like that. We've already covered adult beverages, but if you're more of a soda drinker, then you may have another option. Bring your own. Check your cruise line's beverage policy first, but most major lines these days allow each person in a cabin to bring about 12 cans of soda on board on embarkation day. Of course, it's possible to take advantage of free beverages available on the ship as well. You can always find some alternatives to paid drinks. Most lines offer complimentary refreshments like coffee, tea, instant hot chocolate, tap water, lemonade, iced tea, and even some juices at breakfast. We covered this in detail in our saving money on cruise drinks episode, but it may also be possible to bring your own wine. Again, check your line's beverage policy first. 
Another shipboard money-saving tip is to skip the ship store for souvenirs. They're likely to be cheaper in port. And along those lines, if you see something in the ship's gift shop that you think you just have to have, don't rush to buy it right away. It can sometimes pay to wait and see if the prices drop later on in the cruise. Lines will sometimes reduce prices towards the end of the voyage. Be extra diligent when packing toiletries as well. If you forget something, you will likely pay a premium in the ship store. If you do forget something, you could try to hold off until you're in port. It's a safe bet that you'll find a better deal off the ship at a grocery store, a drugstore, something like that. The same thing goes for little consumables like batteries and SD cards. You can always find a better deal if you pick things up before you board the ship, so stock up. We hesitate to include this last tip because it's definitely ripped from the pages of No Duh magazine. But friends, casinos at sea are not known for generous payouts. Let's just say it's unlikely you'll be saving money hanging out in the casino. We'll leave it at that. So what do you think? Did you find any of these tips helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have money saving tips of your own, which I'm sure you do, please share them with our community in the comments. We love it when we do an episode like this and we see the comment section grow into a huge wealth of cruising tips. It's so cool. So don't be shy, share your tips. All right then, until next time my cruising friends, we'll see you on the high seas, bye-bye.